God bless each and every one of you. Today is the 14th day of April 2019. It is Sunday. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm on my way home from church. Today is Palm Sunday, or it's a day we celebrate as Palm Sunday in the Christian churches. Palm Sunday is celebrated as the day that Jesus Christ entered into Jerusalem and was welcomed with cheering crowds who were waving palms and they were praising our Lord Jesus Christ. They were celebrating our Lord Jesus Christ. It was a wonderful celebration as he came in to Jerusalem. He was on a donkey, riding a donkey. And they were worshiping and praising our Lord Jesus Christ. And of course we know, sadly, how they turned on our Lord. I wouldn't say the the, um, the average person in the city that was celebrating our Lord Jesus, but we know that the higher-ups in the Jewish ministry or the, 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 the rabbis, the scholars, the teachers of that day, you know, they turned on Christ because why? Well, because he claimed to be the Son of God. And to them, that was the ultimate sin of claiming to be the Son of God. To them, he was committing the ultimate sin, which we know is called blasphemy. And of course, we know that Judas Iscariot gave Christ up. When Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane and he was praying to his Father God in the Garden of Gethsemane and Judas as we know by the story accepted 30 pieces of silver to lead a group of soldiers back into the Garden of Gethsemane and therefore pointing out Christ to these soldiers and you know the rest of the story they arrested Jesus at that time and brought him back before the hierarchy of the Jewish people their leaders at that time and they imprisoned him and then we know the story about Pontius Pilate saying to the Jews that he finds no fault in this man, meaning in Jesus. But the Jews were so bloodthirsty at that time. They were so rabid. They were so wanting Jesus' blood. They were in what I would call a blood frenzy. They were crazed. They were screaming, crucify him. And at that time, Pontius Pilate could release one prisoner because of the holidays it was a thing that they did you know every year on this particular holiday on this particular Jewish holiday that he would release a prisoner back into the community back into the city and there were two that he proposed to the Jewish people the first obviously was Jesus Christ and the second was a murderer by the name of Barabbas. And the Jews were screaming, we want Barabbas. Give us Barabbas. And Pontius Pilate said, well, what am I to do with Jesus? Jesus of Nazareth. What am I to do with this man who claims to be the son of God? And I will tell you, he is the Son of God. And the Jews screamed out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! The Jews could not themselves execute prisoners at that time. They could not, under the law, execute Jesus themselves. So they had to get 
the Romans to do it. And that is exactly what occurred. The Romans were the ones that would be doing the crucifying of our Lord. And Pontius Pilate could not lower the intensity of the crowd. He could not calm the situation. He knew the only thing that was going to satisfy this group, this bloodthirsty group, would be to order the crucifixion of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Galilean, the son of a carpenter, born of a virgin birth, our Lord, our Savior. And Pontius Pilate walked over to the bowl and stuck his hands in it and he washed his hands. He didn't want nothing to do with the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And so, you know the story. They tied him at first to a post and they brutally, brutally beat and whipped him. Mercifully whipped the man. Placed a crown of thorns upon his head. Laughed. They mocked our Lord. They laughed at him and said, there's the king of the Jews. Let's give him a crown. And that is when they placed that crown of thorns upon his head. Oh, did our Lord suffer. He got to the point that he could not even carry his own cross because of the beating that he took was so severe. He was in so much pain. He was so weak. He could not carry his own cross. They had to get a man out of the crowd to bear the Lord's cross, to take it up to Golgotha, where they would then lay it on the ground, where they then would lay Christ on top and nail him with huge spikes into that cross. And they would place a thief on either side of him with a sign, here is the King of Jews, Jesus of Nazareth. The one thief on the right, still full of hatred and venom, told Jesus, if you are who you say you are, you come down and smite all of these people. He was still full of hatred. But the other one said to Jesus, remember me. And Jesus told him, you will be with me this day in paradise. Oh, how wonderful of a feeling that must have been. Even though the agony that man was going through he knew that Jesus that Jesus was going to take care of him that he was going to be okay even though he was in such severe pain and of course we know then it wasn't long they pierced his side with a sword actually a spear pardon me and it wasn't long after Jesus gave up the ghost as it says in the word. And the earth shook and the skies darkened. And they were in utter fear. They knew that they had done something terrible, but it was too late. It was already done. put him in a tomb with guards and a big stone and three days later Jesus our Lord and Savior came out of that tomb and at first was not recognizable he did not let them know who he was but then soon after they knew. They knew our Lord and Savior rose just as He said He would.
And that, my friends, is a short version of what and why we celebrate Palm Sunday and Easter, which is coming up, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. You know, you would be surprised how many people do not know that story. You'd be surprised how many people do not even know what Palm Sunday is. Oh, they see it written on the calendar on the Sunday in April. They see that. But you'd be surprised how many doesn't have a clue. It's just some religious holiday is what goes through their mind. They really don't have a clue as to what this entails. And that is the sad part that we are in this day and age with all of the information at the tips of our fingers and still it seems so many don't care so many don't care my friends I hope you give Jesus a chance I hope this day you accept the Lord as your Savior as I say in so many videos you may only have one chance may only have one opportunity please do not leave this earth do not leave this earth without accepting Christ into your heart I promise you if you do you will live in eternity with, with Jesus in heaven undescribable love and joy take care God bless yourselves have a wonderful Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.